A retired ICC prosecutor now enjoying the scenery and tranquility of the mountain kingdom. However, he has not lost touch with what is happening in The Hague and around the world. This is a man once banned by the former United States President Donald Trump after the ICC indicated that it will investigate atrocities in Afghanistan where US soldiers were deployed. He has weighed on the current crisis in the Middle East. It is a good move by South Africa. It shows that South Africa is embracing international law, international criminal law, and that um, it was the rule of law to, um, to be respected. This is particularly pertinent for South Africa, having lived through apartheid, having seen, and for people who have been to Palestine and Israel, they will know that now uh, what is happening in Palestine and Israel is the worst form of apartheid. It is the worst form of apartheid. And South Africa, having lived through this experience, it knows how this feels like, it knows what apartheid, and now, in fact, what is now being, everybody's calling a genocide, how that happens, and that is what is happening. So South Africa must be really uh, applauded for taking this stand. It is being supported by many other countries, and we hope that um, the outcome will be favorable. Uh, Israel will defend itself to show why it is not, um, when they are, why the allegations against them are not true or how they are unfounded. And the um, judges of the ICJ will make their decisions on that now to, to will make a finding as is normal in any court of law. In Gaza, South Africa and other countries have called for a ceasefire. However, this issue has fallen onto deaf ears. Pretoria has taken the matter to the International Criminal Court and to the International Court of Justice. Would we have the pointers perhaps that of things that would say definitely this is what to look at um, without getting into the papers? Yeah, yeah, no, I've not, I've not had the privilege of looking at the South African arguments on this in the papers now. I've not had that, that privilege of looking at so I really don't know. Mm. But I think um, it is generally accepted. Everybody describes Ev what is happening now in Israel, Palestine, as genocide. Mm -hmm. A genocide, generally speaking, is the targeting of a specific group um, with, the, with the intention of exterminating that group, exterminating all that group. That is in terms of the um, genocide convention. So you must, specific, you must target a specific group and you must target them with a view to totally annihilating them as a specific group. The International Court of Justice will hear the matter on Thursday and Friday. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserolo Soto.